And there are people who've done it, and we call them free or enlightened beings. And if they've done it, then great. You're not the first person who has to figure it out. It's already figured out. So all you have to do is follow the path to freedom. Because you, you don't need to invent it. Hi. Hi, Marie. Hi. I was just thinking it sounds like kind of stepping into the light in this lifetime. You understand how I mean? When you explain that freedom, it's like, of course, I don't know how it is to, to pass to the other side, like dying, but it sounds like the light in this lifetime when you explain this. Okay. Maybe I, I don't know, but. Hold on a second, just one mo moment. Okay, say it one more time because my speaker, my, my uh, computer, the speaker is not good, so I don't really hear it very well. Um, it sounds like when you, it uh, feels like stepping into the light in this lifetime, like you, when, you, when you're dying, you go to the light. Mm -hmm. Right. It, but it right. feels like it already now in this life to step into the light right explain it that is possible to do it in life yes that there, there are other beings there are other beings who have done it so we have done it together You, you have been there. We've been together in that place. We've already experienced it. So it's possible. Yeah, I understand that. Right. So if you've done it in this life and you know it's there, then it's possible. then it's not a theory, it's a direct experience that you have gone into it and you want it more or you want it permanently. And to have it permanently is the very key to it is by really coming here in this moment, diving into this moment, being present, It's all tied, tied up. By being present in this moment, you have disengaged yourself from the world of thoughts. You're aware of the thoughts, but you're not involved with them. It means you have come to this world of silence. It's quiet. And then it shows itself. And the more you train yourself and you get familiar with your new state of being, the more you have long patches in your day, daily life that you feel the presence around you. And it's not very difficult, especially for us who already done that before. And we have the right training and guidance. If you haven't done it, or you don't have the guidance of how to come to it, then it's very confusing because you're just trying a million different things to get to it. But if you found something that works, then you stick to it. And then you make it your your daily routine practice. And you recondition yourself. And the more you do that, the more juice you get. 
Because as I said, the key is that you feel the presence. That's the key. You can feel the presence. The presence. You can feel the love. You can feel the divine being, the supreme soul, you know? And you know, Marie, at, at times, like at the workshops we've been together or meditations, you know, when you go to this place and you can feel this, like an explosion of love, yeah? You've, you, you know what I'm talking about, yeah? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. So you know, so you know it's here. It's available. It's available, exactly. It's available. So now you know it's available. So it's not a theory. Someone's not trying to sell it to you. You already experienced it. So you got a glimpse of it, good glimpse of it, more than many people. And now you're getting the know-how of how you can stay in it more and more and make it a part of your daily life. You're getting the tools. So then you don't want to doubt things anymore. Am I on the right path or not? Am I doing the right practice or not? You just, that's another thought. You let that go and you just do it. You just do what you've already learned that you know it works because you've already gone there a bunch of times. So you just continue doing what works. And what works is that disengaging from the world of distraction, the thoughts, distractions. They're distracting your nervous system and they're dragging you into all these places. So you just ignore it and you come back here every single time. You get quiet, you come back here, you come back to the center and then it shows. It shows itself again to you. Again, you forget or you get involved in the world, you come back again. And you do it again and you do it again. And it gets easier and easier because it pulls you more inside your itself. Because ultimately it's love that is directing you to love. So it will make things easy for you. And it will invite you and clear the path for you. You don't have to worry about it. You don't need to figure it out. It's an invitation. We've been invited to come to love. 